What if you could get more done by noon than most people do in an entire day? Not by grinding harder, but by working smarter in sync with how your brain is designed to perform. At The Soft Discipline, we don't chase hustle, we engineer it. Subscribe to the channel and we assure you will be more productive than ever. Today, you're about to see how small shifts can turn your day into a focus-powered machine. Let's get started into the every habit that boosts your brain power. The 90-minute rule, focus like a laser. It's 8 a.m. Ethan, a 31-year-old freelance developer, pours himself a coffee and sits at his desk. No email checking, no mindless scrolling. Instead, he does something strange. He sets a timer for 90 minutes and jumps straight into his hardest, most mentally demanding task. No distractions allowed. Why 90 minutes? Because your brain runs on ultradian rhythms, natural 90-minute cycles of peak energy, focus, and creativity. Top chess players, Olympic athletes, elite students, they all swear by it. Instead of slogging through six mindless hours, Ethan works in sharp 90-minute bursts, followed by a quick 15-minute recharge. By noon, he's crushed more deep work than he used to manage in an entire day and still has fuel left in the tank. The morning reset, a walk that supercharges the mind. After his first session, Ethan heads outside. No headphones, no podcasts, just walking. Here's the trick. When you walk, especially in nature, your brain switches into default mode network, the same brain mode that sparks daydreams and creative breakthroughs. Studies show walking increases blood flow to the brain, reduces stress, and even grows your hippocampus, the part responsible for memory. You think walking is lazy? Steve Jobs built Apple on walking meetings. Beethoven walked daily to summon ideas. Movement isn't a break from intelligence. It's intelligence in motion. Brain fuel, eating to win. At noon, Ethan eats, but not like most people do. No heavy, greasy crash meals. He fuels his brain with foods that support neurotransmitters, omega-3 packed salmon, a handful of antioxidant rich blueberries, and a square of dark chocolate to boost blood flow to the brain. But it's not just what he eats, it's how. No screens, no multitasking. Mindful eating activates digestion, lowers cortisol, and primes him for the second half of the day. Micro curiosity bursts, brain stretching before deep work. Before his afternoon work sessions, Ethan sets a timer for five minutes to explore random questions. How do whales sleep? Why does deja vu happen? This keeps his brain agile, curious, and ready for divergent thinking. Digital fasting, taming the dopamine monster. Around 3 p.m., Ethan does something rare. He disconnects. No social media, no buzzing notifications. Every ping buzz gives your brain a dopamine hit. And over time, it fries your attention span. By creating tech-free zones, Ethan rewires his brain to enjoy stillness, the birthplace of deep thinking, problem solving, and long-term focus. The curiosity hour, feeding the brain's fire. At 5 p.m., instead of mindlessly binging shows, Ethan does something fun. He explores, not productivity books, not how to get rich hacks. He reads, watches documentaries, or deep dives into topics he's genuinely curious about. Curiosity isn't random. It activates the brain's reward system, makes learning stickier, and keeps the mind young and flexible. The cold reset, shock the system, boost the brain. At 6.30 p.m., Ethan steps into a cold shower. Brutal, maybe, but the science is wild. Cold exposure boosts norepinephrine, a chemical that cranks up alertness, mood, and focus. It also teaches your brain resilience, the ability to stay calm under stress. Afterward, Ethan feels like he's been hit by a lightning bolt, in the best way possible. Movement without the mayhem. Light exercise for a sharp mind. At 7 p.m., instead of punishing workouts, Ethan does light yoga, stretching, or a slow bike ride. Why? Light movement boosts BDNF brain-derived neurotrophic factor, which acts like miracle grow for your brain cells. He's not chasing six-packs, he's building mental clarity without draining his body. The One Problem Journal Solving While Sleeping Before bed, Ethan writes down one single problem he couldn't solve during the day. He doesn't try to fix it, he just frames it. Why? because the brain continues solving problems during sleep. It's like planting a seed for tomorrow's breakthrough. Vision reminder, dopamine with a direction. Every morning, Ethan glances at a handwritten note above his desk, a simple sentence. His long-term vision, not a to-do list, not a KPI, a vision, 
because without it, your brain's dopamine system chases meaningless short-term wins. With it, every effort feels like building towards something meaningful. The mental dump, clearing mental clutter. At 9.30 p.m., Ethan dumps every thought onto a notepad. Worries, to-dos, ideas, fast and messy. Why? Because the brain isn't a storage device. It's a problem solver. Clearing your mental cache kills anxiety and deepens sleep. The sacred sleep ritual, where growth happens. By 10 p.m., Ethan's off screens, under dim lights, maybe journaling or reading. Why? Because sleep isn't rest, it's brain repair. Your brain clears toxins, strengthens memories, and rewires itself during deep sleep. Ethan treats sleep like sacred training time, aiming for seven to nine hours of undisturbed regeneration. Gratitude journaling, ending the day on a win. At 10.45 p.m., Ethan scribbles down three things he's grateful for, small or big. Gratitude shifts his brain from scanning for problems to noticing wins, a simple but powerful upgrade. Silent mornings, the ultimate brain warm-up. On certain days, Ethan starts the morning in complete silence. No texts, no emails, no noise. Silence isn't emptiness, it's preparation. It gives the logical brain time to fully boot up, and by 9 a.m., he's mentally ahead of the world. Teach back technique, turn learning into mastery. Every evening, Ethan picks one thing he learned and explains it out loud, as if teaching a child. It's called the Feynman Technique, and it's one of the fastest ways to turn information into intuition. The Daily Win, Wiring the Brain for Progress Right before sleep, Ethan asks, What's one thing I did today that moved me forward? Not, did I finish everything? Just, progress. This rewires the brain to associate effort with reward, creating self-generating motivation. Strength Training, the Mental Grit Workout Twice a week, Ethan hits the gym for short strength sessions, not for the mirror, but for the mind. Strength training teaches his brain to push through discomfort, the birthplace of real discipline. Meditation, mental hygiene before the day starts. Before touching his phone, Ethan sits in silence for 10 minutes, just breathing, just noticing. Meditation strengthens the prefrontal cortex, the part responsible for focus, patience, and emotional control. Power naps the secret midday reset. When afternoon fatigue hits, Ethan doesn't power through. He sets a 20-minute nap timer, recharging memory, focus, and mood instead of crashing and burning. Human connection, brain chemistry through real interaction. Every day, Ethan makes time for one real, face-to-face -face human interaction, not voice notes, not texts, actual connection because oxytocin from real conversations strengthens memory, lowers anxiety, and sharpens thinking. Sunlight exposure, the natural brain charger. Every morning, Ethan steps into the sunlight for 5 to 10 minutes. Natural light in the morning anchors his circadian rhythm, boosts serotonin, and primes his brain for an energetic, focused day. If you already use any of these brain-boosting habits, or if you're about to try one, drop it in the comments below. And if you found this helpful, give it a like and subscribe to The Soft Discipline, where discipline isn't punishment. It's a way of building a life you love. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.